Yeah. Okay, well, thanks MST, hard to top that one. <laughs> so I won't even try. Um, first of all, uh, I don't think anyone that doesn't know me, but uh, Jeff Goff, Boogie.com, I have swag. Um, so we'll give that out. And Both cheese. Really. Pardon? And cheese. This is fruit. This is fruit. All upstairs from Harper Center. And kind of sweet as it is. Um, I'll just talk very really briefly about three earmuffs projects I got going and then a pitch for booking. Uh, first thing uh, is Project Kickstart. I base this sort of on uh, what Module Starter and those modules do. So, sort of like, I think uh, Discilla does something like that. And I don't see Rick right now, but he's in, in the other talk. What I'm trying to do with this is uh, help out and get rid of a few of the annoying words I see in trying to develop Perl projects. Uh, text format Lisp is a new and sl hopefully slightly better uh, printf based on Lisp. New structure combined. I haven't quite figured out how this will work yet, but the test suite will be interesting. And uh, check the last one, libconnect. Cool. Yeah. I, I have everything but the callbacks functioning on that. And then, of course, there's the bag over there. So whoever wants, I've got hats, flyers, t-shirts, and I'll show a little bit about what we do. So first off, uh, Project Kickstart uh, is designed to be sort of a problem replacement for Git, if you by chance use Git in OSVN. With the, uh, see here, the init command works like Git init does in Project. So you can uh, run Git, you can run Project Kickstart init, and it will set up its own set of files, and it will also, as well, do a git init in your repository, and it will also set up the origin in remote for you when you push, when you got to push your project to, say, GitHub, which is where this is. Create does what um, module starter does, and also does the git init step, and the, and other things. Add is like a, is like git add, except that alongside the regular git add, it also updates your manifest for you. It also does git add, and if you are using, say, if you give it a .t file, and if you're like me and are able to high number your test scripts, it will do the git mv commands to move things around. If you have, say, a t0102030304, it will renumber those for you. Okay, that's very intriguing. Apparently I have something broken my HTML. Let me try to refresh here. Honestly, it worked before. Hopefully it's not too broken. Ah, there we are. Aha, I can see what's going on. Uh, let's see here, git add. Uh, okay. Uh, like I said before, it updates, man it will update manifest, do a git add, and renumber your test files for you. This is all. The skeleton is on GitHub now at uh, the Savage down here project, Kickstarter, if anyone is here with I don't have the actual mods written yet, except for the config, but everything is pluggable. So you can add your own, and it's all localized using um, what kind of make text? One minute, okay, I'll move way fast in. If you're not familiar with list formats, I don't expect this will help very much, but this format string takes this array and returns this output with new lines and tabs associated with it, so it handles nested data structures. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to add the features. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for Cuneiform and Tamil and other languages. Oh, my support. And yes, it is 1437 in command. Uh, the last bit is resource combined. If anyone is familiar with Lisp, everyone here probably knows the Lisp assignment. And I may have written that, but what I want to write is that with developer there. So you can actually go inside the data structure with, uh, say, this. And take this 
itself and map it onto this data structure. So thank you very much. And uh, for salary, da da da. Very last, let connect. Thank you very much for me. I'll skip that. And plugin.com here in lovely Amsterdam. We are hiring, trying to hire 40 more people. Thank you very much. Hmm.